hi everybody welcome back so in today's video i came across this woman who was talking about something take a look do you know why ugly women get the best men it's been a secret for generations it's only between the elders of the tribes but i'm about to spill the tea put you on and give you the goods I tell you why some of the women that you consider ugly often have the best men and are treated better than the pretty princesses and the bbl baddies by the way, I'm Phyla, a life and relationship coach for successful, smart, professional women. Specializes in working with black and brown women. Teach you how to prioritize your needs, take sacred care of yourself, and create healthy relationships. The reason why those women that you consider ugly or unattractive or who don't fit the standard or societal ideals of beauty often get the best men and get treated the best is because they have more to offer than looks. They have more to bring than just their bodies. And they have more to give than just their goodies. And even when a man thinks that he wants the pretty princesses and the BBL baddies, it's usually all based in ego, what he's been conditioned to believe about what is attractive in a woman and what he thinks is going to make him be perceived as an alpha male when other men see him with his woman. But what often happens is that those same men who think that they want a certain type of woman choose the so-called ugly women to be their partners for life, to be the mothers of their children and to be their wives. Because when they meet a woman who has something to offer more than just the physical, who has brains, who knows how to be a partner, who's kind and loving and caring, and who introduces him to having an experience with a woman that goes beyond the things he thought he valued, it can change his whole life. Because healthy relationships are built on more than just the physical attraction. They're built on more than just the outer appearance. And they're built on more than just sexual desire. So no matter what you look like, if you're a woman who wants to be in a relationship and who wants to have healthy partnership, learn how to actually engage a man instead of just entice him. If you're ready to take your relationship journey seriously and you need help with this, tap my name right here so that you can book a coaching call with me at the link in my bio. No. Is this true? Do attractive men prefer women who are less attractive? Do they? And if they do, is it for the right reasons? And I'll tell you what I think about this at the end of the video. So let's get into the video. Ladies, why do most men choose average looking women over quote unquote baddies or like the 10 out of 10 type of shorties, you know? The girls that we all find attractive for sure is because I'm gonna keep it a stack with you. Girls who tend to be like, I guess, baddies or whatever, they tend to have like, they tend to be up, up, you know, stuck up. They tend to think that they're the center of the universe, like they're the greatest thing that's ever happened to life, you know? They think that they don't have to do anything. When the average girl will literally treat you like a wife will do shit for you, make you feel at home, make you feel safe, make you feel secure emotionally, care about you, you know? Baddies, they don't, they don't really do that shit. Not saying all of them, but a lot of them have that attitude that like they just think a man is supposed to do everything and they don't have to do anything. And that's usually why they never get picked. Word. I date ugly women. This is from a pure efficiency standpoint. Hot women are very high maintenance. It takes a lot to get them to. I don't want to put any effort into getting women. So I go two points below my sexual market value and get the layups. I'll do this until I'm ready to get a really hot wife when I'm really, really rich. And then think about how grateful I'll be. It's like eating caviar after fucking having peanut butter and jellies your whole life. I genuinely enjoy her. And maybe you like reset my pair bonding to like an actually attractive woman. I'm not sure. Here's the reason why it's good to have women that you may not be attracted to that much, but she likes you and treats you good. Once you get treated really, really well by a few different women, you won't tolerate disrespect from a, another woman because you're used to being treated well. It's the equivalent of a woman who has been flown out to different destinations. If you're an attractive woman and you're in the right circle, you can, you know, be flown out to different destinations. Uh, you get perks, okay? Now that woman has a, she's experienced that. So do you think she's gonna expect uh, the guys to follow to meet that criteria? 
now does that does that mean that she's gonna have maybe somewhere down the line that doesn't have to do a lot of that stuff yeah she might be lucky enough to meet a guy with tremendous sex appeal and he doesn't have to follow those rules but by and large once a woman is introduced to the the good life she now wants to keep the good life she doesn't want to go down from that experience she wants to go up from that experience so it's the same thing if you're dealing with women that treat you good whether they're beautiful or not and they treat you so good that if you were if you were down at another bar and you're out with your boys just watching the game or whatever and there's a girl over here with a bad attitude you're gonna be like man i ain't fucking with that bro i got a chick who treats me like a king why would i with this when i got a chick that just drain me out buys me food takes care of me you know gives me back massages like why would i with this girl who has this big criteria bro that's too much work and i got my i got my go-to over here little boys or immature guys they love a chase they love a chase but a wise man doesn't love a chase he trains himself not to, that's human nature really to love a chase it's human nature but you have to challenge your human nature hey i'd rather stay single than to wake up to next to an ugly person every single morning like i tried it and in my heart i wake up open my eyes and i'll be like bro what was you thinking listening to people talking about looks ain't everything i mean looks isn't everything everything but still we need something beautiful to look at in the morning somebody to thank god for every morning why men break up with a beautiful woman and start seeing someone completely average girls i'm getting this question a lot my name is belina i'm dating and relationship coach and today i want to tell you the real reasons of this behavior so under this situation, it's always a lot of secondary benefits. What is the secondary benefits of not dating beautiful and hot women? So first thing, it's just too expensive, you know, because she needs a lot of money for her appearance, for cosmetologists, hairstylists, manicures, cosmetic, clothes, all of this is super expensive and men understand, okay, I can't afford it and I don't want to spend as much money. He's scared of competitions as well because when a woman is beautiful, of course, it's a lot of men will try to chase her all the time, even if she's in relationship, okay? So man, he's just scared of this. He doesn't want this stress, okay? He will better be with the average woman who's gonna be all over him and like she's not gonna have a line of another man who's ready to date her, okay? Third thing, he can't match standards. He sees that, okay, my woman is beautiful, she's smart, this and that, but I'm kind of like i don't want to be below her i don't want people think that like i'm the outsider of this relationship and of course it's more difficult to make her happy okay because like to average woman you can just give her a little bit and she's gonna be already happy with this but beautiful woman who knows her worth who understand that okay if not this man another man will give me so much more he needs to all like overly put this effort okay and overly try and man lazy he doesn't want to do this that's why he choose easier option my husband admitted that i'm ugly i'm an unattractive woman objectively i've always been this way and while i have accustomed myself to it it nonetheless remains a daily fact that being an ugly woman sucks i met my husband four years ago and he is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me he has always and frequently told me that I'm beautiful and somehow sounded honest without sounding like my mother, like someone without another option to answer. Last night, Saturday, he had a group of friends over to our home. They meet several times a month to hang out, catch up, and play games. He has known most of these guys since high school. I was upstairs in the kitchen preparing drinks and snacks and was able to hear them in the basement and began to eavesdrop, which I know was rude, but it wasn't really intentional. I realized they were talking about me. A couple of guys were teasing my husband about me, specifically about my looks. I could tell it was supposed to be funny. It was not. There was a point when one of them referred to me as a troll and my husband blew up, started shouting, listen, shut the fuck up. I know that my name is ugly, but shut up. She makes me happy. 
Does your bimbo of the week do that, Jim? Dave, how long has it been since we've hung out and you haven't bitched about your wife? Not real names. He went on for a while defending me, but all I could hear was, I know she's ugly, I know she's ugly, I know she's ugly, again and again in my head. Just broke me and I don't know why. I've always known I'm unattractive, but he isn't supposed to. He tells me I'm beautiful so sincerely and consistently, I started to actually believe he thought that. I started to cry and ran into a shower so no one could hear me. When I came out an hour later, everyone had gone home far earlier than normal. I went to bed and then haven't spoken to him all day today. But I think I've been able to avoid letting him know that I'm upset or avoiding him. I know rationally that what he said was true and sweet and that I should be happy he loves me and not my body, but it doesn't seem to matter. I just want to be pretty. God, I feel so shallow. I've been crying all day. What do I say to him? Part of me wants to call him a liar and scream and yell and cry, while the other part just wants to run away and never have to talk to him again and acknowledge that even the greatest man I will ever meet can't find me attractive. You ever wonder why a lot of these guys marry certain women and then cheat on them with other women? It's because at the end of the day, they know that that woman will let them cheat on them because they don't love themselves and they don't look good they don't take care of themselves so they're lucky to be with this sort of man and meanwhile he'll tell her oh you look good natural you look good with nothing on you you're good but every time someone walks by that looks a little bit better or is a little bit well you know well dressed makeup hair they're all googly eyed tongue sticking out why because that's what they're really attracted to okay so you can't go for what somebody says you got to go for what they look at and what you realize that they're attracted to okay so I know plenty of guys who marry the plain you know homely looking woman and cheats on her with everything else okay because a she allows him to cheat because she can't she feels like she can't do any better B he looks better than her and C she don't love herself so I hope none of you ladies are that kind of woman and if you are and you're you know and you've left that situation it's time for a makeover inside and out you know you got to make sure you look and feel your best every time you walk out of the house I don't care if it's just to run to the store or to the mailbox okay invest in yourself before I start saying this this is just my opinion now I'm not saying that um, good-looking men cannot be into not so good-looking women because they like genuinely are in love with them there are people who like they find their mates in these women and they don't regard them as not so good-looking but those guys there are some guys who specifically date uh, not so good looking women because they know their self esteem is low they feel like they are doing them a favor they know they are going to get away with a lot of things I've seen a lot of very beautiful looking men very attractive looking men with women that makes me question are you with her because you really want her or are you with her for other reasons so these are the things that I believe are the reasons behind men who end up with women that are not so attractive number one because maybe they've been through a lot of bs with very attractive women like the other guy said which could be true right and they're like you do know what i want my peace of mind i'm tired of dealing with this um i'm going to go for a woman that maybe no man wants mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's almost like they are doing you a favor i'm going to go for a girl that won't cheat on me that i won't have a lot of competition uh, with other men when when they know for a fact that this is not the type of girls that they want mm -hmm. and the next reason is the homosexuals there are a lot of these very good looking guys who don't like working okay they live off women they live off rich women and most of these not so good looking women oh they've got their shit together they've got an education they have money okay they are going places and so they kind of leech on them and that's why you see them with them they are so quick to marry them and all of that because they have money 
okay and most of them cheat on them because they know that it's not the kind of girl they want and the third reason i believe is because they feel sorry for them with not so good looking women they are even thankful that a guy that is very attractive is paying them attention so it's like those women most of them don't have a lot of standards I'm sorry they don't they, so she's giving him king treatment okay when he's just he's a bum see that they stroke their ego the standards of the bodies they want are too high they are not in the right financial uh, place to be around women like that or they are homosexuals but let me know about what you think about all of this in the comment section and I'll see you tomorrow with another video take care of yourselves bye